Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're having issues with the camera on your Dell Latitude 5430, whether it's not working, blurry, or just plain broken, you've come to the right place. Today I'll walk you through the steps to replace the camera in your Latitude 5430. This process is relatively straightforward, but you'll need a few basic tools and some patience. Before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future repair tutorials. Alright, let's dive in. First things first, you're gonna need a few tools for this job. Here's what I recommend. A small Phillips head screwdriver, a plastic prying tool or spudger, your replacement camera module. You'll also want to make sure the replacement camera is compatible with your Latitude 5430, so double check the model before ordering. You can find a compatible part online, but be sure to match the specs. Using the plastic pry tool, carefully work your way around the edges of the bezel. It might feel like it's going to snap, but don't worry, just apply even pressure and be patient. Once the bezel is off, undo the two screws that secure the LCD to the display back cover. Gently lift the LCD away from the display cover. Now you'll see the camera module right in the center. Gently disconnect it. Installing the replacement camera. Now, align and place the camera module into the slot on the display back cover. Connect the camera module cable to the connector on the camera module. Make sure the connector is seated properly. Once the new camera is in place, it's time to reassemble the laptop. Start by aligning and placing the LCD into the slot on the display back cover. Replace the two screws to secure it to the display back cover. Now snap the bezel back onto the display. Make sure it clicks into place securely. With everything back together, it's time to power up and test your new camera. Make sure your laptop boots up properly and then check out the camera using an app like your built-in camera app, Teams, or Zoom. And that's it for today's repair guide. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.